Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State, Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Descriptive Statistics, Question 3, Median and Range. Inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order your complete study package. Let's delve into the question. Question 3, Median and Range. Two Algebra 2 classes took the same diagnostic exam that was scored on the basis of 100 points. Ms. Campbell's 10 a.m. class had a median score of 78 and a range of four points, while Ms. Campbell's 11 a.m. class had a median score of 78 and a range of 22 points. Explain how these classes could have the same median score while having very different ranges. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. Okay, so before we get into the solution, let me give you a little bit of background on descriptive statistics, okay? A statistic is basically um, a calculated value that is descriptive of a sample, a sample being basically a select few items or individuals from a larger population that a researcher is studying. Researchers are usually discussing a sample statistic because collecting um, the data to calculate uh, population parameters where population parameters are basically going to be calculated values descriptive of an entire population. This task is simply too expensive and time consuming, okay? So they opt to calculate sample statistics instead. Again, a statistic is a calculated value that is descriptive of a sample. In descriptive statistics, the, um, the median, or how, do you, how can I describe this, is categorized as a measure of central tendency. The other measures of central tendency are going to be the mean, the mean or the average of a sample denoted by X bar, okay? And a third measure of central tendency in descriptive statistics is the mode. The mode is the value in the data set that repeats most often. So here the, um, the unshaded individual would be the mode. It's occurring most often in this particular sample. Okay, but if we were looking at numerical values, it's going to be the value that repeats most often in the data set. So these are the different ways of describing the center of a data set or a measure of central tendency in descriptive statistics. The median now um, is going to be the middle number, okay? And the reason why the median is important is because it's more representative of the central value of a group of um, data sets, especially if there are outliers, as we see is the case here, outliers being extremely high values or extremely low values that don't really correlate with the rest of the data set, okay? So again, the median is going to be the middle number, but it's only the middle number after the data set is organized from uh, lowest to highest numerical value. Okay, so the median would be somewhere around here. All right. Now let's get back to our question stem. Two statistics that are being reported here are the median and the range, and um, they measure completely different things. The median tells us the middle score, which in both cases is 78. Okay, and if we're told that our median is 78, we can assume that the, this was, the statistic was calculated after the data set or the test scores for the two different classes were arranged from lowest to highest values. The range is one way to report what's called measure of spread. Okay, 
So in this problems, uh, there's two classes, Miss Campbell's 11 a.m. class and her 10 a.m. class, they had the same median score of 78. So this can be for her 10 a.m. and this can be for her 11 a.m. class. However, the data um, for her 10 a.m. class is going to be more tight. It's going to be less spread out than the range of values for her 11 a.m. class, okay? So let's say for example's sake, we're not told this in the problem, but we're just doing an example range. An example range for Ms. Campbell's, um, uh, her 10 a.m. class could have been from 76 to let's say 80. Whereas a range for her 11 a.m. class could have been from 70 to 90, okay? Well, 92. And these are pretty good test scores, actually. Um, and I, for the last example, I want you to know something really important. The median of a set of data does not have to be the perfect central midpoint, meaning it doesn't have to be the number halfway between perfectly halfway between 78 and 92, okay? It's just going to be the number that falls in the middle of 22 different data points, okay? And be aware that when taking an exam, or let's say you're using this review for the Algebra 2 um, regions, it's good to give specific examples, as we just did by giving an example range of um, 76 to 80 for the 10 a.m. class and 70 to 92 for the 11 a.m. class. Adding such details to your explanation, if you're doing them correctly, will help the grader understand your response more clearly. All right, so good luck studying.